Hi everyone, welcome back to JPWHU TV. It's nice to see you. I hope you're keeping well and I hope you've simmered down from Wednesday night's debacle, for lack of a better way of putting it. This is the preview of West Ham's 16th away game of the 22-23 Premier League season, where we travel to South London tomorrow afternoon to, to Selhurst Park to take on Crystal Palace in Crystal Palace for half past 12 kickoff, so early lunchtime, live on BT Sport 1. As always, this video is sponsored by the channel sponsor, 3retro.com. Please click the link in the description below that will take you directly through to the West Ham section of their website, but as you can see from the icon that's up here there's also crystal palace retro gear in there as well along with admiral and umbro track jackets polo shirts sweatshirts and t-shirts so go check those out any purchases you make through the link in the description below the commission that the channel would normally be getting especially for those purchases made by any palace fans that are watching um the commission that the channel would normally be getting i'll be sending on to the charity iron supporting food banks they're based in the newham area and they're helping those in the newham area and the essex county and further afield to help people put food on their table in these very very difficult times now now, they've been supporting food banks for the last three to four years and they're currently supporting 39 different food banks. That's how difficult it is for people out there. So guys, go grab yourself a really nice retro shirt. You'll be saving yourself a few quid in comparison to the club shop and you'll be helping those that are less fortunate than you and I. So as always, guys, let's start off by talking about the officials. The referee for this game is Craig Pawson. His assistants are Scott Ledger and Derek Eaton, and the fourth official is Andy Madley. On VAR, we have the Aussie bottle job that is Jared Gillett, and his assistant is Adrian Holmes. So VAR, main VAR aside, yeah. Not too bad, to be fair. Now, last time out, as we remember, we lost 2-1 at home from an early November Sorry, in early November from a goal from Ben Rama to start the scoring off in the 20th minute. But we conceded just before half time from Zaha and the last minute ditch goal in the 90th minute from Elise. So kind of an obvious of what was going on with our season at that time. And to a degree, it's still there. It's still bubbling under the surface. Now, our last six away trips to Selhurst Park shows we've won three, drawn two and lost once. So that's pretty good. But... When you look at David Moyes' away record as the, at, to, uh, to Sellers Park in the Premier League, he hasn't lost. He's won five. That's all the games that have played, apparently. I've triple-checked this. It doesn't feel right, but he, he has all the he's, all his draws and losses have been at home. He's, away, all, he's, been, he's not beaten Palace away, and long may that continue. So he hasn't lost to Palace away, so he's beaten them all, I should say. And long may that continue. Palace are three points above us on 37 points after 33 games. 12th in the table, winning 9, drawing 10 and losing 14, scoring 31 goals and conceding 42. Now, since taking over at Palace, which is basically ran about this time last month, Roy Hodgson's formation has very much been a 4-3-3. So again, as I said for the Palace, uh, sorry, I said for the Liverpool preview, you need, and I've been saying it all bloody season as well for that matter, you need to have a formation out there that's going to exploit the, the gaps. We'll come on to that when we talk about the starting 11 um, that I'm hoping is going to happen. It never will, but it's, I'm hoping it's going to happen. You have to do that. You don't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a formation because you see what happens on Wednesday night with against Liverpool which again we'll come on to in the West Ham section. Now, Palace's home record so far in the Premier League, they've won four, drawn four and lost nine, scoring 17 goals and conceding 23. And of the last five home games they've played, they've won twice and lost three times. Now, Palace's style of play is very much attacking down the left, taking long shots, playing long balls and playing in their own half. So their left-hand side is going to be our right-hand side. It's a good one, good Really try and help. Try that, Palace. You know, really, really try it because you are going to fail. Going to fail. Seriously. I mean, I know I'm putting, I know I'm probably jinxing it now, but you are seriously going to fail. We've got, you know, we've got an unbelievably good right side. It's perfect. And they also like to play um, in their own half and using long balls. Now, they are strong at direct. Um, free kick shots, protecting the lead and sealing possession from the opposition, but they are also weak at keeping that possession, scoring chances, aerial duels, avoiding fouls and dangerous areas, and they are very weak at attempt, at, at, you know, very weak, sorry, at defending against wing attacks. Now, this is what I'm talking about when it comes to it. You know, that it's they they can attack down the left hand side, which is our right, but that's going to be nullified. And I'm sure our left hand side, hopefully, if the formation if the if Moyes puts out the starting eleven that I'm going to talk about, which he's yet to do all fucking season, um 
mostly because of injuries for one reason or another, that I think the left-hand side is going to be phenomenal. So we have to concentrate on that. And I'll go into that more in more detail in a little while for those that are paying to watch these videos. Now, looking at, injuries, in, you know, looking at injuries, Ferguson is ruled out for the remainder of the season with a very serious muscular tear from what I'm reading. Anderson is out with what looks like a knock. Um, and Klein is out with a knee injury, both of which are 25% chance of returning for this fixture. And the highest goal scorer, thank Christ for that, Louis, um, Wilfred, talking about Louis Zaha, then Wilfred Zaha is 50% chance of returning from a groin hip injury. But you know, as well as I do, when they're 50% chance, he's going to play. He's going to have some form of involvement. You just absolutely, and he might not start, he might come off the bench, but you never know. Now, their second highest goal scorer at home in the Premier League is Uard, I think, or Duard, I think you pronounce that, with three goals and two assists. And the highest assister is, no surprise, Jordan Ayu with two. Now, players to look out for, other than the players we just mentioned, former target Eze, of course, Ward, as, I, as we pretty much mentioned, but you know, I can't really see him making too much of an impact. If you, you might be on the bench, you never know. Decore, um, Matata, Klein, Guaita, James Tompkins, if he comes back, you know, if he's in the starting 11 or he's on the bench and comes on, you know, now he's, he's, he's been a lovely bloke. He's never scored against us yet. He's tried a couple of times, but anyway. Um, now, this portion of the video now, we're going to be turning over to those that are paying for it on Patreon. Uh, we're going to go into a bit more analysis of how I think the Palace lineup is going to be and more specifically how we can nullify that attack and also get into their defense so if you want to become a patreon links in the description below um it's like basically three pound plus vat a month that's it so you're basically looking at what three pound 60 a month that's that's it this is it's crazy you pay more for a half a pint in london than you do to get access to this content so so but anyway guys let's now go over to those that are watching on patreon Okay, guys, so turning to West Ham, again, fortunately, at the time of this recording, no new injuries to report, so that's fantastic. Um, you know, obviously, the Liverpool game, as I said in the um, full-time thoughts, if you haven't already done so, go watch it in the card that's up here. Um, but, yeah, I'd, we sat back too much. Uh, yes, there's, there's loads of reasons why we couldn't have come away with um, at least a point, but the main reason was because we didn't play well enough. It's, it's as simple as that throughout the game you know we sat back too much we didn't really give Liverpool a, a hard a hard game you know apart from their pathetic set pieces got set piece goals um you know there there wasn't really much to say I mean there are a few positives out of it you know you've got match time and match fitness for everybody who wants you know packet tire was phenomenal but anyway, guys, let's, let's, but yeah, we're so focused on this game as well. So yeah, for my start 11, it's exactly the same as the Liverpool preview, to be honest with you. It's the side that I want to see. I don't care what people think Moyes is going to do or he has to change it. He really has to change it. Um, but yeah, I don't like having Antonio up front, but you just, you, you've, you've got to, quite frankly, you have to. Danny Ings is proving to be not the centre forward that we need, unfortunately. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. You know, you, you never know. He, he might, he might surprise us all. But yeah, he, he was pretty disappointing Wednesday night. But he wasn't on long, long enough to be very disappointed. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, guys. So yeah, there's, there's no, there's no really other information to talk about. To be honest with you, it really isn't because the games are coming so thick and fast. Nothing's, there's not much of a break between everything. So as I said, I've already given the video. Um, so I've already done a video on my full time thoughts on the Liverpool game. Um, but now let's look over to the starting eleven. I'm hoping. David Moyes is going to put out. Ariola in goal with a back three of Zuma, Ogbonna and Agued. Soufal and Emerson as the wing backs with Rice, Fornells and Cornet in midfield supporting Bowen and Antonio up front. So thank you very much for your time, guys. As, as I really, really, I don't need to say it, but I know you guys are thinking it. We have to go all out. We have to get a victory to make sure. Yes, we're five points above this relegation zone, which is fast, fantastic for that. But we have to get another another victory between here and the end of the season. You know, we've got Man City coming up after this. We've got Man United. We've got the semi-final of the Europa Conference League as well. Plus, we've got Leicester at the end of the last game of the season for the away game. You know, it's really, really quite sweet irony, I guess, that the very first of what watch along with that we did for this channel was Leicester away, was it four, three, four seasons ago? And now we're ending the season with exactly the same fixture. 
and we were kind of on the same sort of verge of hoping we were going to be safe for that that one as well not as dangerous as we were now but anyway guys thank you very very much for your time i hope you've enjoyed it put your comments in the comment section below like this video if you haven't already done so uh please do put your please do subscribe if you haven't already done so as well and um, it'd be nice to try and get us now because we, it was we got to 200 and uh, sorry 2266 um this week which is fantastic so all we need is four more to get to 2270 and the amount of people that are watching three almost three quarters of you guys are not subscribed so click that subscribe button hit the notification bell and make sure you set the settings to all so, uh, sorry your notifications to all so you know what when new content is going up but in the meantime enjoy the rest of your friday and i hope to see you at early lunchtime for the watch along for this game all the best now take care